Here with Kickatin head basketball coach Willie Goss, his team a winner, 73-61 to over Stonebridge in the ninth annual VirginiaPreps.com basketball classic at Green Run High School in Virginia Beach here today. 9-8 and eight on the season now, coach, as the Warriors move over to 500 mark. And uh, what a game you guys had, especially what a third quarter you had. 20 points in the first half, 32 in the third period. Was that the best stretch, eight-minute stretch you've played at basketball this year? Um, probably not. I think our best stretch was when we played Hampton uh, earlier okay. this year. Well, I could say... Two or three times. It's up there, though. It's up there. It's, it's up there. It's uh, reminiscent of uh, uh, 2009, whenever we had that 41-point uh, quarter uh, in the regionals. It's against, against Lake Taylor, against right? Lake yeah. Taylor. We had Dimitri Batten in that right, crew. Yeah. Right, Macho and all those guys. Yes, sir. 23 points, 14 rebounds for Marion Moore today. You also get a double-double of 18 points and 11 rebounds from your guard, Brian Randleman, the new kid from <laughs> North Carolina for you. Those two really powered you. But I also thought Gerard Thorpe – made some shots today. Was it just a matter of offensive? You just got in a rhythm, or what did you guys do to get so hot? Well, I think what happened, you know, we had a lot of uh, logistical things that happened uh, today. The bus was had a miscommunication with transportation and having, you know, packing cars and you know, calling favors and, 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 and get people, you know, to, to help us out. You know, I had to call parents and uh, calling my girlfriend and, and, and calling coaches. Now, my JV coach had to end practice. And so, you know, fighting the traffic and getting here, uh, you know, it just took us some time to get ready. And then also, you know, Stonebridge is a great team. And then they come out, I mean, they shoot the ball. So having to get by our mindset was to come in to be able to chase them off the three-point line. Mm -hmm. So we kind of went away from that because, you know, I'm a man-to-man -man coach. And so our defense generates our offense. So that's sure. what got us into running. You know, and we rebounded the ball well, which allowed us to get out and get on, get in our breaks. Even with a 20-plus point lead in the second half, I don't know if it felt comfortable for you as Evan Buckley, the sophomore for them, had 28 points, five three-pointers, tying a Preps Classic record, 21 in the fourth quarter alone. And he's got offers from, I believe, New Hampshire and Bucknell, a couple of schools already as a sophomore. Uh, he really got you guys a little worried there for a moment there in the fourth I was, quarter. I was, I was worried. And I was trying to, you know, uh, we play in the PD, you know, in, in Conference 5, Conference 10, um, you know, trying to plug in and try and do, uh, you know, in the showcase games, you know, you try to see if you can uh, find that X factor. So I was trying to plug in different things, trying to do uh, different combinations. And then I said, no, nah, let me go back to my horses. Uh, but he is a great shooter. Yeah. I mean, he is a great shooter. I mean, great form, uh, incredible range. And, uh, you know, I'm telling the guys to close out. They're like, Coach, he's shooting from half court. I'm like, well, get out there. You know, I mean, he has a great range, a great player. Sure. Rebounding was certainly pivotal for you in this game. But I also thought, too, was the offense, but you played with really good pace. You, you got yes. the speed up and um, – with the way you guys have played this year, you've been in some games against the Hamptons and the Bethels of the world. Has the confidence wavered at all, or do you feel like these guys are, are starting to get what you want, knowing that you've got a lot of new faces right. and guys will be back next year? Right, right. You know, at, at the end of the day, I still have, um, still, I still have eight um, juniors mm -hmm. and two sophomores that are getting heavy minutes. So with that, uh, it's them understanding what we want to do. You know, we want to be able to run where we can, but we're still an executing team. You know, mm -hmm. we want to be able to execute our offense, swing the ball, make the ball go sideline to sideline, force mm -hmm. the defense to move, penetrate the gaps, and, you know, execute our system. Mm -hmm. That's tailor-made for them. Absolutely. Lastly, and I thank you for your time, you know the reality of the situation of two teams go to regionals. And now you're looking at your next game ahead. Hey, I, got, I can't worry about that, Matt. i got to worry about the Warwick, Gloucester, Nans River, Bethel, Hampton. But you know the reality of it is right. Bethel and Hampton are two heavyweights, right. the only two teams go from that and you guys are probably good enough to make regionals what do you tell these kids as you try to do that and maybe have to knock off a team that's top five in the state no we, I, you know <clears throat> i tell them to live in the moment you know live in the moment do what you do uh what better way you know to to have that uh those odds against us you know and so we're taking it serious, you know. We've played both of them tough. You know, we lost a tough one to to Bethel, and so Bethel right now is probably going to get that, you know, that number one seed. So it's going to be between us and Hampton. So you know, we're we're not looking looking forward, uh, but we're looking ahead. So we want to look ahead to our next game, but we know coming down the line we're going to have to go through um, through Hampton. So you know, we're we're equipping ourselves. Um, I've given the guys all the scenarios, um, you know, but but we're ready for it. You know, because if we can, we can do that. You know, that's part of our team goals. We can get out of that conference. Uh, we can, we can make some noise in the regional. So we're prepared. We're prepared. Thank you so much. Congrats on the win. Thank you, and thank y'all for having us. Virginia yeah. Preps has always been kind to us, and uh, you know, thank y'all for having us. This Absolutely, year. our pleasure. Thank you, Coach. No problem.